Good afternoon, guys! So, I'm sorry I haven't picked up the camera all day. I left the house at 5.30 in the morning and it's 3 o'clock now and I've been in school all day and I'm finally here at work. Yay. Thank God that part of school is almost over, guys. A few more weeks until the semester is over. I can't wait. Um. Um, I just saw something crazy. For those of you who watch Homeland, when I say the name Saul, you know exactly who I'm talking about. So, I just turned on Criminal Minds, and it's a really, really, really old episode, and Saul is in it. Like, he's one of the members of the team. And I had no idea. I heard his voice, and I was like, wait a minute. That's all. It's crazy. So yeah, he was on Criminal Minds at one point. Just letting you guys know. Um, soon here, I have to go to the grocery store and get some food for the girls. Get some groceries. Um, you can totally see how like black under my eyes are. I didn't sleep at all last night. I think I slept for like an hour and I woke myself up. Like my alarm went off and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm up. I, I didn't sleep. It was, I don't know why, but, oh, so annoying. But I will do the things I'll need to do and I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh my God, you guys, how creepy is this? Like, is that supposed to be Chucky? Like, what is this? This is so not for children. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, it is 9.55 p.m. And I got home about an hour ago. I had some yummy food and I know I look crazy it's because I just jumped in the shower before Chicago PD starts so I have a few minutes and actually I just wanted to you know just let everybody know about you know, some of the things that's been going on. You know, life, life is definitely crazy. No matter who you're with, no matter if you have a family, no matter if you're by yourself, no matter what your situation is, life is def life definitely has its ups and downs. And I don't like to say that life sucks. I try not to say that all the time because it really doesn't. God wants us to succeed in the best way possible. No, we, we weren't put here to be miserable people. And it really, really sucks seeing a lot of miserable people and not being happy. And I have made it my motto in life recently that there's no point in having negative people by your side because it only brings you down and I have great experience in that area because I grew up with a family who was like that and 
it has its ups and downs. I'm not saying it was always like that, but a lot, there are a lot of negative people out there, definitely. And you can only do so much to not let their negativity affect you. And it comes to a point where you break down and you start becoming negative too. I have tried my best to be as happy as I possibly can. As you guys see, I'm not married. I don't have any children. I'm by myself and I support myself. I take care of myself. And of course, you know, I'm living with p amazing people now who I had to reach out for help to because sometimes we have to do that. And it sucks to have to ask for help, but it needs to be done sometimes, especially if you're alone. Um, there are a lot of things that I have noticed and I'm trying to change. I'm a very, very busy person and I'm literally on my feet 14 hours a day. I come and go. I have something in my mouth. I come and go, you know, home, school, work, running errands, and back home. And it's like, depending on the day, I get five to like seven hours of sleep. And if the days that I sleep in, of course, I sleep in more. But I, the past few weeks have been very difficult for me because. I've just, I've lost my passion. I've lost my goal. And sometimes that happens a lot. You know, you have to reassure yourself where you're going. You know, what are you leading up to? Where are you going? Why are you doing what you're doing? Because I have found that in the past, you shouldn't be doing things just because you shouldn't be working a terrible job just because and you're not going anywhere with your life. I understand that, yes, you need to make money, but I believe that everyone should be happy and doing whatever it is that they're doing, no matter how miserable your situation is. And please do not get me wrong. I'm 24 years old and I have gone through more things and all of my friends combined. You know, I've gone through things that a 24 year old shouldn't be going through. And it's just, I had to reassure myself of my goal. And I've lost, I've lost my passion a little bit for the past few weeks. And within the past few days, I have realigned myself and I have to do that from time to time. I'm one person, I'm one person taking care of myself and sometimes I have to do that often. I have to reassure myself that that is my goal, that is my passion, that is why I am doing what I'm doing now. No matter how much I'm struggling, no matter where I am, I am just extremely lucky that God is by my side and he is guiding me because I have a testimony that no one will ever know that I have gone through with me and God himself. And some people know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you have this connection and you can feel it. I have gone through things that I would have never gone through without God because I felt it in that room I felt his presence and ever since that day I have never done anything without knowing that God is by my side and he loves me no matter what type of person I am no matter what I'm doing he's there by my side to protect me to guide me into the right direction no matter what kind of mistakes I have made and am making. 
So, I just want to remind you guys that being happy shouldn't be difficult. It really shouldn't. And you should definitely be happy always. And always remember that there are so many other people out there who are going through way more terrible things than me and you are. So, that is my spiel. I just, that's, what I've, that's what's been going through my mind for the past few days. And it's awesome to speak out loud and to share what I'm feeling. Um, but that is my spiel for the day. Um, it's 10 o'clock. Chicago PD is on. So I am going to call it a night. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.